Okay, so I want to tell you a story. I was out in the garage, out in the garage. I was out in the garden today, and I was gardening. And um, I have a habit of wearing two pairs of gloves out in the garden. I wear a cloth pair and a latex pair, and there's a really good reason for both of them. The first reason is, is the cloth gloves are to protect my hands against the zucchini. They're very prickly, the little tiny spines on them. And, you know, if you're pulling back the leaves to get down them, the, the shaft of the leaves are spiny, as well as the underside of the leaves. And they, they're, those little tiny spines, if you've got soft skin like I do, because I moisturize constantly, I mean, it's just, they get into your skin and it's like fiberglass. It itches and itches and drives you crazy. So, um, I wear like a big heavy pair of, of cloth gloves to prevent the spines from getting all into my arms and hands. But I also wear a pair of latex gloves under them. And my next door neighbor had a friend over and they were just standing out in the yard chit-chatting like they do their old gardeners too and real nice people and they kept asking, they kept looking at me strange and I kept thinking, well, you know, why are, you know, surely they're not, you know, looking at me going, why is she gardening? You know, surely they know. So, they finally come over the fence and they ask me, we want to know why you're wearing two pairs of gloves. And I explained to them about the cloth gloves and she goes, well, that's, you know, understandable, but why the latex gloves? And I've had to tell her a story for her to understand. Last year, I made 26 jars of salsa one day. And um, in order to make the salsa, I bought... Well, I had tomatoes from my garden, but I bought all the peppers at the store, and I diced them, and, you know, I put them all in the pan, I cooked the salsa, and I jarred the salsa, and I know about halfway through jar, during the last jar, uh, the last batch of salsa, and my cuticles started to feel itchy, and pretty soon they felt kind of warm, like almost feverish type warm, and then they felt hot. And then they felt really damn hot. I mean, they were burning. It felt like somebody had taken a match and was just holding the match to my cuticles. And they burned so bad, it was ridiculous. And then I remembered that I hadn't used any gloves when handling my peppers and chopping my peppers. So now I had pepper burn. It seems ridiculous because a lot of people grow peppers and a lot of people have never had pepper burn. But... Peppers can give you a really bad chemical burn. Depending on the pepper, depends on how bad the burn is. But these are just regular old jalapeno peppers. But they were some really good ones, apparently. Because, I mean, my cuticles were on fire. So I went online and I looked up all these, you know, home remedies for this chemical burn, basically, on my cuticles. And it was under my fingernails and over the top of my cuticles that really hurt. And, um... Someone had said that, you know, what you did was you, you went to the store and you got a bottle of whiskey and a bottle of orange juice, or a, a jug of orange juice. And they said, you take a shot of whiskey and you soak your hands in the orange juice for five or ten minutes. And you pull your hands out of the orange juice and you rinse them off. And if the burning comes back, take another shot of whiskey and put your hands back in the orange juice and repeat until the burn is gone. And I thought... That would only take me about 10 minutes to get rip-roaring drunk at that speed because I don't drink. And I thought it was a rather interesting solution, which my husband concurred that it was hilarious, but it didn't work, believe me. Soaking it in whiskey doesn't work, soaking it in orange juice doesn't work, drinking whiskey while well, soaking it in orange juice does not work. So, um... I soaked it in milk, I made the paste from the cornstarch and stuff, that that didn't work. I did everything that anybody ever suggested and nothing worked. They finally, I just bought several bags of peas and I packed my hands in, in frozen peas for um, 12 hours and the burn finally went away. But it was pretty bad. I mean, I had like blisters over the top of a couple of my cuticles. And so, the moral of the story is, is when handling peppers or when you're out gardening and you grow peppers hot enough to cause you some damage, put on a pair of latex gloves. That so way, so when you pull off your cloth gloves, your hands are still protected from um, the damage that your uh, peppers can do to you.
because even just handling them on the vine is enough to get that, that oil on your skin. And if you go to the bathroom without washing your hands, or if you touch your face when it's sweaty, or, you know, anything, you can transfer the oil from your fingers to your face, to your eyes, to your nose, and believe me, there's some places you do not want to burn. You do not want to go to the bathroom with this oil on your hands and be burning in um, the bad place because I can tell you it will require you to go see a doctor and the last thing you want to do is explain how you got those burns because as dumb as it sounds, it's happened. I can guarantee it it's happened. And um, so that was my story. And I told the lady, you know, what happened and why I now wear latex gloves under my other gloves. And she says, well, you weren't even working on the peppers. Said, That's just it. I'm kind of a little bit, you know, flighty in the garden. I'll work on one thing for a few minutes and I'll work on something else. And I said, you know, I didn't want to take it into my head to go and play with the peppers and forget that those Caribbean peppers are supposed to be twice as hot as habaneros and go over there messing with them and get myself a nice chemical burn that would um, make the last chemical burn look like a day in the park. So, um, everybody had a good laugh at my expense, but I can tell you that uh, it was not funny. It will not be funny if it happens to you. Um, I wouldn't wish it on anybody because truly it was a horrible experience that went on for hours and hours and hours. So, um, Thanks for listening. I will come back later with more stories that I wanted to tell you guys from my garden. Little tidbits of information that everybody needs to know. So uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye.